there was never a time that we weren't working with somebody in industry or working on a particular problem that would relate directly to um, the industry. We worked with one of our clients to sort of create an anonymized version of this problem and we have the World Softball League. It's a fictitious league, but we include a lot of the real constraints that we get in practice. One thing that we ask the students to do is to sell their schedule to us and, you know, they're basically solving a math problem that comes back with zeros and ones, millions of zeros and ones that describe, you know, the underlying math problem that they've solved. But that's not going to be meaningful to, you know, the commissioner of a league, for example. And so what we ask them to do is sell us your schedule and show us your schedule. Show us what's good about it and, and visualize that. So they've come up with some pretty compelling ways to, to take an, a previous schedule and compare it to what they did and say, okay, this is why our schedule is better for TV ratings. This is why our schedule is better for competitive fairness. And this is why our schedule is better for travel, even you know, showing maps of you know, these teams traveling around the globe to play these games. This is a real problem, right? I mean, we created a fictitious league, but all the constraints about the divisions, about the travel, about the competitive fairness, and all the questions that we ask them are based on a real problem that one of our clients allowed us to present to the students. This isn't a textbook problem where, you know, you have a theoretical you know, round robin and everything works out nicely. It's a messy problem. It's a hard problem. And that's what students are going to encounter in the world, not just in scheduling, of course, but in anything with a real business challenge. There's a lot of sort of very fuzzy things that the client wants to address and so the students through work on this project they really get some exposure to that and as we ask them questions in their presentations we ask them hard questions and in a nebulous way because we're not math we're not posing as mathematicians we're posing as you know business people who have a problem that they need to solve and they need to satisfy you know 12 coaches and their TV partners and everyone else like that and so it really teaches them a lot about taking data science taking you know, optimization and applying it to, to the problems that they'll encounter sort of in the wild out there. After really asking them some challenging, difficult questions, really grilling them on some of this stuff, um, we give them feedback. We say, well, you know, this is what you could have addressed better. This is how you stumbled on this question here. And, you know, no matter how good your technical solution is, if you fumble enough times in a meeting, you know, that can cost you the client. And so what the University of Tennessee is doing now is they're sort of figuring out what is the toolbox that these students need to have to go out there? They need the business side, they need the technical skills, they need the big data skills, and it's really this mixture of, you know, to be a Swiss army knife in a bunch of different ways that, that Tennessee is teaching them. To have a program like this that trains people to be well-rounded is very valuable in industry. I teach mainly the big data technologies, the fundamentals about Hadoop and how to get uh, data processing using Hive and things like that. And then I also teach them how to use cloud computing. If I am to hire one of them to work, under, uh, work in our group, what would I expect them to know? So that's what I look into them and I try to teach. It is what is currently used in the big data industry. So which includes, I mean, how to do large scale data processing. We have seen lot and lot more companies move into cloud computing environments. Now they get to learn from end to end. Like let's say if they go to the industry and if they were thrown a project with a data set saying, okay, go analyze this and come up with some solutions. And if that is a very large data set, now they know what to do, what technologies to pick, and how to do it from end to end. One of the reasons I'm very excited about the program is that we are always on the lookout to hire good data scientists, and I see this as a perfect place where we can find people to come and work for us. I see this program as being in the sweet spot of data scientist uh, domain, right? Because this program addresses the business side of the things, and then also this program addresses the statistics side of the things, and then this program also addresses the technical foundation. So combining these together is the sweet spot for a data scientist. And I think that's exactly what this program is doing, and I think that is what makes this an ideal learning ground for future data scientists.